Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to show you a book haul. This, this will be my second book, book haul uh, that I do on this channel. Um, these are books that I gathered through this month. Through this month. Some, some arrived a few weeks back but some of them I have here for a little while now uh, and I didn't show you in my last book haul so I'm gonna show you today. I'm going to start with Portuguese author José Luís Peixoto. This is Almost Domingo, that's the title in Portuguese, that in English would be something like Sunday's Lunch. So this is a book about a family, for, for what I understand. Um, and it talks about the um, Spanish Civil War and also the 25th of April. That's the date that we in Portugal celebrate to um, commemorate the get down of a dictatorship uh, from a Salazar's dictatorship that was a, a dictator that ruled in Portugal for several years and in 25 of April of 1974 it happened a revolution and in that date we commemorate that. So I think this will be, here in the cover it says that many political figures also appear in this novel. So I think this has many parallels to the uh, Portuguese history. So I'm really interested to read um, this author. I heard many good things about his writing. So, and I have to read more Portuguese authors, really. So I want to make a bit of a change in my reading habits. So I'm starting with this one. Then we have A Tale of Love and Darkness from Amos Oz. This is an Israeli... Uh, Israeli? Is that how you say it? I think it is. Uh, author. And this book is about his life. So this is like a memoir, a memoir book, where he tell, where he talks about his life, his family history as well, um, because he lived in an era where the um, Israel was being founded so it tells the story of the foundation of that country so I think that's really interesting and at least two of my favorite youtubers read this book and made a review about it and told so many good things about his writing and overall the story that he told so I'm really, really, really curious to read this one and see the wonders that they talk about. This one is a classic. It's The Count of Monte Cristo. I have volume one and volume two. I think that these covers are really beautiful. Um, this uh, story was made in a movie and I don't really remember watching the movie. I know that I saw it, but I don't really remember the story. Uh, and they say that this classic is really fun and it has many cliffhangers. So it makes you on the edge of your seat to know what's going to happen next. It's very addicting, at least that's what I heard about this book. So I'm really curious also to read this one. I think I'm going to enjoy it very much. 
Recently, I heard a negative review about, uh, of a YouTuber. Um, he said that he thought the book was really slow and uh, nothing was really going on. What I thought it was odd because other reviews that I heard and read said the opposite. So I'm a, a little bit intrigued with this one. Um, so I have to read to know for myself, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Another one is letters from Father Christmas for, from Tolkien. Um, this says that it was edited by Bailey Tolkien. I think that's one of these sons or daughter. I don't know if it's a son or, or a daughter. But this is a gathering of, as the title says, letters from talking to his children. Um, I bought this last December. I was intended to read in December and make a review, so, but I didn't have the time to do it because this book uh, came a bit late in the month. Um, so I didn't have the time. So I'm considering uh, to read this year in December and make a, re a review. So I have a thematic review of um, Christmas. So um, I heard also that this is really endearing, that the letters are really sweet. And I'm really excited to um, pick this one up. Then I have Oplomov by Ivan Goncharov. I think this is a Russian author. Now I'm not so sure about it, but I think that this is a Russian author. I don't know very much about this book. I know that uh, this is a kind of a comedy. That's the only thing that I know about this book. <laughs> this will be a reading project that I'm going to participate in. This will be May and June, if I'm not mistaken. I'll be reading this with Paloma Lima. This is a Brazilian booktuber, and she will be doing um, a reading project, project in her reading club that you have to pay to participate in. But um, I really like her discussions that, and the videos that she does about the books that she read that she reads. Um, so I'm considering participating in our club to read this one. And I'm really curious. I hope that this book will make me laugh. It's not the first time that I laugh reading a book. So I hope that this will happen in, with this one um, again. Then, about mangas, I bought recently the second volume of Monster. Um, I talk about this one, if I'm not mistaken, in my December wrap-up, I think, I'm not sure, but I read the first volume and I loved it, so I'm uh, I bought the second uh, volume. These have nine volumes, right? Yeah, nine volumes. So you'd have an idea. That's a lot of volumes. But I'm really excited to pick this one up. This is a book about a medic, that he's a surgeon, and he, he makes a surgery on a little boy that has, I think it's a bullet, in his head and then a few years later um, he has some problems in the hospital where he works at because he's demoted um, because of some circumstances that happen and then some years later he finds that boy that he operated 
in real bizarre and weird a weird situation so it's really mysterious really intriguing really uh, detectivist if you know what I mean I'm making this word up but it's like a detective type of work you know you as a reader trying to figure out what what is happening so it's really fun I really like the dynamic of the art and I'm really excited to pick this volume. Then I bought an, ah, I forgot to, to mention this is a Spanish version, Spanish edition, because the English edition, at least here in Portugal, is is sold out. So I had to pick the Spanish edition. And it's the same thing for this manga here. It, this is Satsuma Kishiden. This is from... Oh! This is from... Monster is from Naoki Urasawa, as you can see. And Satsuma Kishiden is from Hiroshi Irata. So this is a manga as well. This is a manga about samurais. Um, I don't know too much about it. I only know that it's about samurais and it's a bit graphic. So be aware of that. But they say this is a fantastic manga. I heard so many good critics about this manga. So I have volume 1. Volume 2. Volume 3 Volume 4 And Volume 5 uh, So they say it's about Samurais and uh, I think a little bit about their story, their history And yeah, that's all I know really And then, and then, finally, the last one is The Man Without Qualities from Robert Musil. Here we have volume one. As you can see, it's really large. Volume two. And volume three. So... They are huge. This is a huge book. I let me see. Oh, the um, each volume begins with number one, so I don't have the page number to give you, but as you can see. Look at this. This is one book. It's incredible. So this is set in Vienna on the eve of wo World War I. And this novel tells the story of Ulrich, ex-soldier and scientist, seducer and skeptic, who finds himself draft, drafted into the grandiose plans for the 7th the 70th Jubilee of the Emperor Franz Joseph. So I don't know much about this novel. Um, I'm planning to read this one uh, through the year. I have to start this month and I didn't begin yet so I'm late to the game. But I have to read this one till December because I'm participating in um, you know that project that I also make in my channel that uh, it is 12 books for 12 months so I accompany this year I resolved to accompany that project from another youtuber Tatiana Feltrin 
that's a Brazilian booktuber as well. I love Brazilian booktubers, as you can already know to, to this date. I mention a lot of Brazilian booktubers. I love them. Um, and so I'm um, trying to accompany her project of 12 books for 12 months. Um, and this book is her book for, for December and she told us that she was uh, she would begin reading this uh, this month so as i want to read this book as well um, and as you can see this is huge i really have to start right away so i can accompany her i'm uh, as i <sighs> discovered uh, recently, I'm not going to accompany uh, her with all her books because I don't really have time. I'm reading other stuff and I, I am late in reading the book of March. So I'm late to read the book of this month, April. So I'm going to get late to all of her books, but you know, I'm trying. So... And that's what, that's what counts, right? If you at least try to do your best and, you know, to accommodate all these books and the books that I want to read, the books I'm currently reading. And I have a pile, huge of books that I'm currently reading. And as you well know by my wrap-ups, I have books in standby because I put other books in front. So <sighs> this is a big mess. But, you know, little by little, I'm going to accomplish. So, yeah, this is the book that I wanted to show you. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have read some of this or if you want to read some of this. And, yeah, let me know what you thought about my list, the books that I bought, the mangas that I show you today, if you are a manga reader as well. I want to be a more of a manga reader, but you know, it's not that cheap because um, for a lot of mangas, there are a lot of volumes and each volume is like a book in terms of price, so it's not cheap. But you know, one here and there between a large period of time you know, I had to read like one a, one a year or something like that. And I also, I also take advantage, advantage of uh, promotions and sales. Sales? I don't think that's the name. You know, promotions. Like when uh, editors make uh, periods of promotions with their books. So, you know... I do what I can. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to press the ring bell button so you can be notified whenever I make a new publication. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.